All right, question number 40, let's get right into it. So guys, we're starting, as we're getting closer to the end of this exam, notice how they're starting to get a little bit more difficult, a little, little bit more conceptual. So this one's just a very conceptual problem, so let's get right into it. Regardless of how the graph is oriented in the standard xy coordinate plane, no graph in one of the following categories has a vertical line of symmetry. Which one? All right, guys, so what they mean by that um, no graph in one of the following categories has a vertical line of symmetry, and no matter how it's oriented, that's basically saying, like, for example, if I have a square, right, I could orient it like this, you know, I, I could make it look like something like, like this, right? Um, I mean, again, that that, that kind of looks like a rectangle, tangle, but hopefully you, you get what I'm saying. You can rotate the shape around, you can move it around, um, but if it is, by definition, that certain shape, it can have no lines of symmetry through it, okay, specifically vertical lines of symmetry. So let's think about a line here. So let's say I have a line. If I have a line, there's a vertical line of symmetry, right? If I have a line like this, oh, there's a vertical line of symmetry, all right? So this one does have a vertical line of symmetry, and we want one that has no line of vertical symmetry. Okay, so that works for a line. So line is out. So what about a square? Now, hopefully this one's more straightforward, but again, if we have a square, it looks something like that. Now we have vertical line of symmetry, and if it looks like this, we still have vertical line of symmetry, all right? So square is out. So what about a pentagon? So a pentagon is going to look something like this. And again, we can just orient it like that, or we can orient it like this, right? We can basically orient it any way we want. We're still going to get symmetry, all right? So that one's out. All right, guys, now a parallelogram. Let's think about this one. So remember, parallelogram kind of looks something like something like this, right? So the question is, is there a vertical line of symmetry? Um, so it might be kind of hard to, to see here, but you can actually, if you angle it, you can go through right here and you'll get some symmetry. Um, let's see. Yeah, so if we have at least one um, line of symmetry, then it can't be this one. It's saying that no matter how you orient it, there's never gonna be any symmetry uh, between it. So the last one here is a scalene triangle. Now, if you guys remember with the scalene triangle, all the sides are different lengths, right? So it would look something like, like this, basically, right? This would be a good example of a scalene triangle. So now it's saying, can we figure out some symmetry? Like, can we go through this way or, or this way or, or this way? And the answer is no, we can't. So hopefully that makes sense. You could, should just be able to see it. But yeah, the correct answer is going to be a scalene triangle because there's no way that we can put a mirror and have it equal both sides whenever you reflect it. So yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll see you in the next video.